hello everyone today I am going to tell you about phloem and its components phloem is the second type of complex or compound tissues it makes up the vascular tissue of plant with xylem it helps in translocation of organic material from the leaves to the different parts of the plants like stem, flowers, fruits and roots. There are four types of phloem tissues. Number one, sieve elements. Number two, companion cells. Number three, phloem parenchyma. Number four, phloem fibers. Among these, sieve cells, companion cells, and phloem parenchyma are the living component of the phloem, while phloem fibers are the dead component of the phloem. Here in this slide, you can see the structure of the phloem cell. the top you can see the lumen that is the empty space of sieve tube and there is no cell organelles present in the cell lumen here you can see the sieve plates the plasmodes matter Plasmodes meta are the cytoplasmic strands which link the sieve tube and the companion cells. Cell wall is the outermost covering of sieve tube. The cell wall provides resistance to the sieve tube from the high pressure. Cell membrane is the phospholipid bilayer membrane which is present anterior to the cell wall. It also holds the sap inside the tube and pumps sucrose in and out of the sieve tube. Here in the figure you can also see the companion cells that contain the dense cytoplasm. The sieve plates contain the sieve pores here in the figure you can also see the peripheral cytoplasm peripheral cytoplasm are the cytoplasm when the sieve tube become mature they have the large central vacuole due to which the cytoplasm moves towards the periphery and become thin layered that is why we call it peripheral cytoplasm So the sieve elements contain the two components that are the sieve tubes and the sieve cells. Sieve tubes are the long and cylinder tube. Here you can see the sieve tube that are long and cylinder like tubes. Which are joined to each other from end to end. Here you can see that the sieve tubes are long, cylindrical and joined end to end and forming a tube like structure. At the end of the each sieve cells there is a sieve plate are present which have many sieve pores. So here at the end the sieve cells plates are present that have many sieve pores scattered on the surface of the sieve cells. So here you can see that on maturity, this is the large central vacuole present inside the sieve cell that push the cytoplasm towards the periphery. So that's have the peripheral cytoplasm present in the sieve tube cells that contain the cell wall and the cell membrane. The sieve cells are the long thin wall with tapering ends. 
function of the sieve tube cells that the sieve tube cells involved in the food conductance cellulose microfibrils which are the majority constituent of the sieve tube that provide the mechanical strength to the sieve tube it also allow back and forth movement of sap through the sieve holes or the sieve pores one component of the phloem is the companion cells these are the living components that are associated with the sieve tubes it means that they work in association with the sieve tubes they have their own nucleus which not only control their activity but also the activity of neighboring sieve tube cells it is modified parenchyma which have dense cytoplasm and the cell organelles they are metabolically very active the companion cells are active cells because they have the parenchyma cells have the nucleus have the dense cytoplasm so all the metabolic activities take place inside the companion cells they are metabolically very active so they release atp for the translocation of food and thus help in food conductance the third component of phloem is the phloem parenchyma it is a living component which is composed of parenchyma cells they are responsible for the radi radial conduction of food and also act as the storage cells which store latex and the resins it's mean that they also help in the conduction and in the storage of resins and the latex the fourth component of the phloem is the phloem fibers they are the only dead element of the phloem as compared to the rest of the three elements that is sieve cells companion cells and the phloem parenchyma they these three are the living components while the phloem fibers are the dead element of the phloem they are composed of sclerenchyma as the sclerenchyma we know that is the dead part of the plant so they are also dead they are thick walled and they provide the mechanical strength to the cells if we talk about the function of the phloem then it the is the first and the basic function is the conduction of food like sugars amino acids from leaf to the other parts of the plants it also help in the transportation of protein and messenger rnas sieve tube of phloem gives strength to the plant against bursting sieve plates allow continuous movement of sap through the sieve pores phloem parenchyma can also store ergastic material like resin and the latex so we sum up with the conclusion that phloem is the part of the plant that is a complex tissues contain four types of cells sieve cells companion cells phloem parenchyma and the phloem fibers and its main function is the conduction of food transportation and also provide strength movement of sap and the storage so that is all about the phloem and its components